Well, hey there, everyone. I hope that everyone is having an absolutely fabulous week, or if your week's just starting because, well, this is Monday Motivation. Well, welcome to a new week, and let's dig right in. We're going to talk today about how to be happier, and where does it all start? Well, it starts with a smile. It sounds so simple, yet a lot of people have difficulty trying to squeeze a smile out. Yet studies show if you smile more, you're actually going to be happier. There are some studies that also indicate that smiling can boost your immune system, that it can do all kinds of things like help you build better relationships, potentially even lower blood pressure. I mean, that's pretty easy. When you smile, your body releases neuropeptides and those help fight off stress. And when those are in gear, the release of neuropeptides then triggers dopamine, serotonin, endorphins, I'm sure you've heard about all of those, which are mood modulators. So that kicks everything into gear. Well, what's the result? It's kind of a combination of a mild pain reliever and antidepressant. So sounds pretty good, right? One of the things that you want to think about, though, is how did smiles ever come to be a welcome gesture in humans? I mean, when you look at most animals, you think about dogs, lions, you know, other scary things that have large teeth. When you see teeth, it's usually not a friendly gesture. Yet experts believe, anthropologists in particular, that primates, when they clamp their teeth together and bare their teeth, it's actually a sign of submission. So the theory is that human smiles evolve from there. Well, you know, who knows? One of the things that we have to think about is one of the wonderful quotes that we all know. Life is like a mirror. Smile at it and it will smile back at you. Indeed, that's totally true. So let's figure out how to find ways to make you smile more. Tip number one, compliment someone unexpectedly. So maybe you're not that flowery, showy kind of person who's just gushing over your friend's clothes. Oh my goodness, you look fabulous. Look at your nails. Oh, I love that perfume, love that jewelry. Well, maybe you are that person. If you do compliment others often, think about pulling back a bit and sort of saving your compliments for the times they really matter. And that should lead to more compliments coming back your way. If you're not someone who gives compliments very often, it's time. Doing so once in a while makes your comment meaningful and it boosts the mood of the recipient. And that can make your relationship with that person better. Not to mention that it's just a nice thing to do. Coach Steve Maraboli says, smile at a stranger. It just might change a life. It's true. Smiles are kind of like yawns. They're contagious. Tip number two, boost your ego. All right, so you're feeling like crap lately. You got to do something that gives your ego a boost. Maybe you've got a favorite outfit that makes you look fabulous. Put it on and stand in front of the mirror and smile at your reflection. Maybe you're a creative person and you can generate some cool graphic meme or something, some video that other people are going to notice on social media and like. Do it. Whatever you need to do, do it. Tell yourself you are worth it, you are good at whatever it is, and you deserve to be happy. Smile. You are alive. You're here. And you've got enough spare time to be listening to this podcast, so life can't be that bad. As Coach Douglas Horton says, smile. It's free therapy. Tip number three, acknowledge that you're unhappy. Well, all right. You know, everybody's got things going on at different times, and maybe a couple of things have recently transpired that... You know, it's kind of cutting into your happiness vibe. It happens. It just does. Acknowledge that you haven't been as happy lately and start thinking about why that is. Because that's the first step to changing things up. How much of what is making you unhappy is within your control? And what can you do to make yourself smile? Well, go on YouTube. Find funny cat videos. Like, I'm not kidding. Or anything that's going to make you smile. And do this regularly until you notice that your unhappiness levels are starting to drop. So with that, Monday Motivation is wrapping up and wishing you a fantabulous week. Can you feel me smiling?